Hello everyone. Now in this video, I will let you know how to make your own corner. Now if you don't know what is this product corner all about, watch out my previous video on intro to corner to know everything about this product. So first of all, I will let you know the concept I used for turning this product into a project. So the product corner consists of two main parts. The first is the corner stick and another are the corner tags. So for the corner stick, I have used ESP8266 LED development board along with the Pizer buzzer. This ESP board is communicating with the tags locally as well as it is communicating with our mobile phone globally via MQTT protocol. Now for the corner tags, also I have used the ESP8266 LED development board along with the 3axis accelerometer. This ESP board is getting its analog value of acceleration from the accelerometer and according to that it will request one link locally within the range of our corner stick and the rest of the world is turned by our corner stick. So this is the concept I use for turning this product into a project and I think this is a similar concept is used for that main product corner. So without wasting time let's move on to its making. So first of all let's start making the corner stick. For the corner stick you will require one ESP8266 LED development board and one piezo buzzer. The hardware connection of this stick is something like this. So the difference between the stick used in the product corner and the stick used in our project is that the product corner stick gets connected with the router via RJ45 Ethernet connector while in our case the stick gets connected with the router via Wi-Fi. And I think Wi-Fi is much more convenient than that RJ45 Ethernet connector. So let's move on to the code. Okay, so this is the code I made for corner stick. This code is nothing but a mixture of two codes. The first is the Adafruit MQTT example code and another is uh, the Wi-Fi access point code and both this code I have explained very much detail in two separate videos and the video and the link of both that videos are available in the description. So if you want to know uh, in detail regarding both of this code you can go ahead and watch out this video. In this video I will just uh, explain you in brief about uh, how this code works. I won't be going into that much detail because that will uh, increase the length of this video. Okay so moving ahead necessary declaration of this uh, library and here it is defined the buzzer D8. So I have defined the buzzer pin as digital 8 and you can vary this uh, pin according to your convenience. After that the details of your router uh, details of your router through which our ESP will get connected and it will get the internet access. Then second here you need to assign the SID name and password. Now this is uh, the SID name and password is just uh, for uh, the tags to get communicate with our ESP board. As I already told that ESP will act as an access point for, for our uh, uh, corner tags and it will act as a station to get connected with the router to communicate globally. So it will be uh, acting as a router as well as a Wi-Fi station also. After that the necessary declaration of Adafruit IO uh, MQTT broker. So you can watch out that video to know into detail. I will just move on to the setup now. Okay, in the setup first line is Wi-Fi dot mode Wi-Fi underscore AP underscore station. We need to, to configure this ESP mode to act as access point as well as a station and this feature is already available in the ESP266 module. You just need to turn it into mode 3 which is nothing but the access point and station mode both. So this line reveals that and after that uh, okay Wi-Fi dot soft AP will create a hotspot for the ESP or for the corner tags to get connected with this uh, corner stick. Okay, so after that here it is written as server.on and so on. So I will just explain the single uh, function. I will just explain this function. What this function will do? This function will be waiting for a particular link to get requested. As soon as that link is requested within the uh, a local area of this ESP board, it will jump to another function. For example, let's take the example of this line server.on slash sense2 comma sensor2. So this will wait until this link is requested which is 192.168.4.1 slash sense2. As soon as then this link is requested within the local area connection of this ESP board, it will jump to this function sensor2 which is defined here. This all are the function already defined. Uh, okay, so here is a sensor2 function, it will jump here and what this will do, this will first of all publish uh, uh, correct or the integer 1 
to the sensor underscore two feed name and after that it will start buzzing the buzzer 10 times by uh, okay 10 times it will uh, buzzer will be turning on and off and after that it will uh, send that uh, link to that uh, client whosoever is requested that uh, sense to link or requested that sense to link so he will get that uh, 200 uh, okay connection uh, request in response and after that it is again publishing the zero integer value to that sensor to feed name so this is task done whenever any link is requested from sense 2 to sense 10 Okay, so in the main loop, uh, we are just uh, initializing or uh, establishing this MQTT connection and after that we are just waiting for any of the link to get requested within the local area connection. And this server.handle client will handle all the clients which are connected with our ESP corner stick. So this is the code for uh, stick, it is very much easy and it's just a mixture of two code as I already told Adafruit MQTT and uh, Wi-Fi access point. Okay, so this is the code for the corner stick. What it is doing that first of all, it would create a hotspot to, to get the corner tags connected with our ESP board. And also this ESP board, the stick all connects with a router to get an internet access to communicate with the MQTT, uh, Adafruit MQTT broker. So if any of the tags which are connected with our stick request one particular link, which is slash, slash sense2, sense3, sense4, then this uh, module will recognize that link and it will first of all publish the uh, integer 1 to Adafruit MQTT broker after that it will start buzzing the buzzer 10 times and again uh, after buzzing uh, after 10 times of buzzing it will send the integer 0 to the Adafruit MQTT broker so in our mobile phone we are we will be getting notification for the from the Adafruit MQTT broker and uh, in the room we will be uh, come to know that any of the door or window is opened by the sound of that buzzer. So this is the task of the corner stick. Now let's move on to the code and the hardware connection of the corner text. So for the corner text, you will require ESP266 development board and a 3-axis accelerometer. The hardware connection of the uh, corner text are something like this. Now accelerometer is such a thing that will give the values, analog values of acceleration in particular direction. I particularly use a 3 axis accelerometer so I will get the analog values of acceleration in all the 3 directions which is x, y and z direction. So let me show you it's working through a graph. Okay, so this is the code for the corner tag. So again, the necessary Wi-Fi, uh, sorry, necessary library declaration. And here is the one parameter called sensitivity. I will explain uh, later on uh, when I will be going into detail about this code. After that, the sense pin is defined at analog zero. As ESP266 12 board has only one analog pin, so you no need to change this because we have only A0 pin as an analog input for this ESP266 12 board. After that, the SID name and password. Uh, now this name and password will be same as that of that ESP266 which is acting as an access point. So in my case it is ESPAP and there is no spoon as a password. After that this is necessary variables. And let's move on to the setup. It will first uh, uh, turning the mode of this ESP board as a station mode as it only needs to get connect with our corner stick. It doesn't need to uh, you know generate any access point to get others to get connected to it. So it is just uh, acting as a station point that's all after that it will be disconnecting if already connected to any access point and it will begin a connection at the uh, defined as that name and password after that it will be uh, okay after that I am uh, storing this IP address of this particular ESP8266 board in the string called IP and after that I am filtering the fourth part of this IP address uh, as we know that the IP address consists of the four parts our IPv4 version of the IP address consists of four parts which is uh, for example 192.168.4.1 so the f I'm filtering out this fourth part uh, by this all uh, what you can say functions and after that converting the fourth part of IP address into integer 
Now, why I am doing this, I will explain uh, in a few seconds. First of all, just I have converted this number which is in the which was in the string from into an integer form so that I can uh, be able to compare the integer values. Now, why I need to compare, I will just explain you. So, let's move on to the loop. So, okay, if Wi Fi is connected, oh, sorry, if Wi Fi is connected, then what it will do? Okay, first of all, it will calibrate the surface to zero. Now, the acceleration value of uh, for example, a uh, corner tag is attached onto the door. So it will be calibrating that surface to the zero value and fluctuation in that value will trigger the link. So I will just calibrate this uh, value to zero. So this function is totally for calibration. After that, <coughs> here comes the sensitivity, which is uh, defined in the uh, first few, uh, first fourth line, I think uh, of the code. Now, what is this sensitivity? The sensitivity parameters uh, reveals that uh, how sensitive our tag should be. Uh, should, should our tag uh, respond to slight movement of the door or should our tag should, uh, would respond to, you know, uh, sudden, uh, sudden uh, what we can say, movement of the door. So lower the value, the higher the sensitivity. I have written as 10 is the highest sensitivity and 100 is the lowest sensitivity. So you can just vary the sensitivity of your tags. So as soon as uh, the fluctuation in that uh, calibrated value occurs though it will uh, start uh, requesting the link and which link will be requested now this is important so here i am comparing this num value which is nothing but the integer uh, part of that fourth ip address or uh, integer value of that fourth part of ip address so i'm just comparing that is it one is it two is it three or so on so how ip address is attached so our esp 266 is acting as an access point uh, which are main stick so all other tags will get connected to this stick and the IP address will be assigned on first come first serve basis. So any of the tag which is uh, uh, which is establishing the connection with our main stick will get the IP address as 192.168.4.1 and after another tag is connected it will get an IP address as 192.168.4.2 and so on to 3, 4, 5. So first come first serve basis the IP address is assigned. So I'm just comparing that is it the a first tag is it the second tag is it the third tag and according to according to that i am requesting the link as sense 1 sense 2 sense 3 sense 4 and so on so that is why i i was uh, what you can say interested in the fourth part of that ip address and that's why i converted into integer so that i can compare the value and according to the comparison i can request the different different links so with that each tag will get assigned a particular IP address and according to the particular IP address it will request a particular link so that our stick will come to know that yeah it is coming from the request is coming from the stick 2 or request is uh, sorry request is coming from the tag 2 or request is coming from the tag 5 and so on so each will get a unique identity so this is uh, the code all about nothing much in this tag code so this is all about the corner stick and corner tag. So let's uh, brief about the, what is this corner tag is doing. The corner tag will first of all get connected with the corner stick by entering by establishing a connection by Wi-Fi dot begin function. And as soon as it gets connected, it will assign the IP address. And I am filtering out the fourth part of IP address. After filtering, I am just converting this fourth part into the integer value. After that, I am calibrating the surface to which our corner tag is attached. And any fluctuation in that uh, calibration will request the link and the link will be requested will depend upon the fourth part of our IP address. So this is all about the corner tag code. Okay, so let's uh, see how I made this and let's see it in action. So I already shouldered all the components and made two tags for testing our project. So let's see how it works.
Great. So this is perfectly working and it is almost same as the product corner. Isn't that nice? So this was all about DIY corner. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, give a thumbs up and let me know that you like this project. And uh, comments are always welcome for any doubts or any suggestions. So this is it for now. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, do subscribe it to get notified for this amazing project tutorials. Now, I don't know what, is, what will be in my next video, but we'll soon figure out. So till then, explore my website techiesms.com for this project articles. And uh, okay, wait for the next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, TechSMS.